Hi everyone, I'm Nick, and this is the Soundlink Color 2 from Bose. Although it seems to be the same internals as the original, they refreshed the design and added some notable features such as NFC for quick pairing and a mic for speakerphone. The Soundlink Color 2 is the most portable and least expensive Bluetooth speaker that Bose makes. It's available in four colors, blue, red, black, and white. I paid $129 for this, and I'll throw a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase it. Inside of the box you'll find the speaker, a micro USB cable to charge, as well as some documentation. There's a quick start guide, safety information, and phone support. You won't get a wall adapter to charge, which seems to be the trend, but I like it when companies throw that in. The design was a common complaint on the original Soundlink color. It was a bit ugly and it looked cheap, but Bose did a great job here by simplifying the design and giving it a more premium look. It measures in at 5.25 inches tall, 5 inches wide, and 2.25 inches deep. It's got a bit of heft to it as well, weighing in at 1.25 pounds. It's got a very dense feel with no hollow spots or flexing in the body. The entire body is wrapped in a soft touch silicone material that's got a really nice smooth feel. The speaker grill takes up the majority of the front panel with a Bose logo at the top. A round back is another grill for the rear facing passive radiator and a more subtle Bose logo. There's a 3.5mm auxiliary input to connect non-Bluetooth devices, as well as a micro USB port to charge. The Soundlink Color 2 is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. Most speakers like this will hide the ports behind a weather sealed door, so while this makes accessing the ports easier, Bose points out in the manual to not allow liquids to spill into any openings. The Soundlink Color 2 has an IPX4 rating, which means that it'll withstand sprays and splashes of water, so it'll be fine in the rain, but it can't be fully submerged in water. There's a nice and grippy rubber bottom that really keeps the speaker in place. All the controls can be found on the top of the speaker. Here you'll find the power button, Bluetooth button, input mode button to switch between Bluetooth or auxiliary input. There are volume buttons as well as a multifunction button. Using the multifunction button, you can play, pause, double press to skip forward a track, or triple press to skip back to the previous track. You can also use it to answer or end a call, and if you long press, it'll bring up Siri or Google Now on your device. There are also a few LED indicators, which is nice. The power LED will indicate charging or battery level. The top panel also has a mic to use for voice calls, so Bose added a speakerphone, a feature that was missing on the original. Performance was pretty average, call quality is clear, but the caller on the other end could tell I was using a speakerphone, and it sounded like I was in the distance. A nice feature that Bose added to the Color 2 is NFC for quick pairing. So if you have NFC on your phone, a quick tap to the top of the speaker is all you need to connect. Otherwise pairing through Bluetooth is fast and simple. The speaker will remember up to 8 paired devices and you could connect 2 devices at the same time and quickly switch between the two without having to pair or unpair. So you can pause playback on one device and resume on another. You can also switch between two devices just by tapping the Bluetooth button. The speaker also has voice prompts, so it'll read aloud the remaining battery life each time you power it on, or it will tell you which device you're currently connected to. Battery medium. Connected to Nexus 5X. Bluetooth is rated at up to 30 feet, but in my testing, it was as good as most other speakers I've used. I was able to get a solid and stable connection all over my house, from one end to the other, between multiple walls at almost 50 feet. It only started to drop when I walked outside past the 50 feet. When it comes to battery life, this is the only area where I think Bose could have improved. The Soundlink Color 2 is rated up to 8 hours, and while that was a lot 2 years ago when the original was released, since then though, the competition upped the ante with batteries lasting 15, 20 hours or more on a single charge. Still, 8 hours isn't bad, and I was able to get 7 hours and 5 minutes listening at 80% volume, which is louder than I would typically use the speaker. Charging the speaker is quick though, at around 3 hours, and it'll power down automatically after 20 minutes by default. And you can change that using the Bose Connect app. Speaking of which, could use some improvement. The app comes in handy if you'd like to change settings, but it lacks an EQ, which would be nice. The Connect app will let you manage your connections and download firmware updates. You could also disable voice prompts and view the battery life, but it's still pretty underwhelming. Also, there isn't a way to pair multiple speakers for simultaneous playback. Something you could do with JBL and Ultimate Ear speakers. Moving on to the sound quality, the Soundlink Color 2 doesn't disappoint. The two drivers, along with dual passive radiators, 
do a good job at delivering a balanced and accurate sound signature. Bass is tight and responsive, but it lacks a bit in the low end. Bose suggests placing this near a wall, which does improve bass performance, but it doesn't really help the speaker much outdoors. You'll notice detail in the bass guitar and the kick drum hits hard, but pounding bass and pop and EDM comes up short. The speaker delivers vivid and detailed mids with more clarity than the competition though. Some instruments that tend to get washed out on other speakers were no problem for the color too. Highs are rich and vibrant. There's some roll off with the higher frequencies at loud levels, but overall the speaker sounds more balanced and accurate compared to something like the JBL Charge 3, even though the lows don't carry the same weight. The Soundlink Color 2 can get pretty loud for its size as well, although not quite as loud as other speakers. At 1 meter away, I tested this speaker at 87 decibels. The JBL Charge 3 achieved 90 decibels. The speaker can easily fill a small room, and it does a decent job with medium to large size rooms, and it doesn't distort at full blast. Here are some samples. So Bose made some nice improvements to this speaker. Even though they didn't improve on the battery life, they added some notable features like NFC and speakerphone. They also refined the design, giving it a much more premium look. The Soundlink Color 2 delivers a very balanced and accurate sound, even though it comes just a bit short in the bass department. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the like button if you like this video, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.